Hello world, it's your good buddy Uncle Hodge here coming at you with a quick and dirty explanation video. I've had a lot of comments telling me that I'm using my silencer wrong on my FX crown and I'm going to explain to you why you're mistaken. Um, it seems to be quite difficult to explain this but in Australia it's illegal to have something that makes your rifle quieter unless you are licensed to hold that piece of equipment and I'm not. I'm just average Joe shooter. To get that license, I would have to have a genuine reason for it, and that genuine reason is defined by law in Australia as basically a work requirement. So if I was, in fact, a pest controller, and it was my job to do that, then it probably wouldn't be that difficult. I would have to apply for a permit to get one. The Attorney General would have to approve that permit, and then Queensland Police would have to approve it, and there would be Lots and lots and lots of paperwork and approvals and horrible fun stuff that you would have to go through to get it. And I, there's, there's basically no way that I could get it. So I'm going to pull my rifle apart and show you what it looks like inside that tube. All right? Alrighty, so up here up at the very end, unscrew this. This is just the threaded piece on the end. Hopefully that can uh, focus in. Lovely finished job by FX, I have to say. I'll pop our light over here so I can see this a bit better. And then you unscrew this. Rotate, 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 rotate. And then once it clears the uh, sleeve retention thread, it pulls out fairly easily. It just pulls out like this. But as I pull it out, you'll notice it just keeps on going and going and going right up to the end. As you can see, there is no locking ring, there is no air stripper, and there are no baffles. This is not vented. This end here, as you can probably see, see if we can get that to focus. There we go, no holes in the back end of it. We're going to focus, yeah. No holes in the back, not vented at all. This is just an empty alloy tube. This is basically there, I suppose, for looks, uh, because you have the option uh, of buying a FX muzzle flip device, which is basically just a little muzzle brake, and you can screw that onto the end and change the look of your rifle a little bit. Personally, I prefer the big, thick, bull barrel shroud look, so I'm going to stick with this. But you cannot use this um, extended at all because the only thing that uh, locates it are these two little o-rings i'll try and get on camera here if i can it's a little tricky mm. but basically inside here there is a small amount of alloy tube and there are two o-rings located in there and if you were to try and use that extended even a small amount, you get a considerable amount of deflection up and down. should be able to see that. And that is not something that you want to be shooting with. If you clip the end of this thing with a pellet flying down the end of that barrel, it's all bad. It's not going to be good. And an empty tube with no baffles in it does nothing at all for sound reduction. So there's no point in trying it at all. It's dangerous and it won't work. So we'll put him back together, slide it back on in. Like so, you can see there, down in this corner, down here, we've, uh, we've met up with the threads on the end of that sleeve. Start screwing it back in. Screw it all the way in. Until it stops. Like so. And now it is located at the back by butting up against the, uh, the action. And it's located on the barrel at the back by those two O-rings. And up the front, the internal thread of the shroud is located on the barrel uh, retention nut that holds the Smooth Twist X sleeve in. And now we just pop our 
thread protector back on the top. Beautiful. All done. Alright, so hopefully that will shed a little bit of light on a question that's kind of difficult for me to answer with text. Um, if you guys do have any other queries, just leave them down in the comments and we can always just bang out a few of these quick little videos. Um, they don't take long to do and it's, it seems to be an easier way of getting my point across. So I'll, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.